Hello! Today we're going to look at similar shapes and we're going to do some calculations with area and volume of similar shapes. So before we do that, let's just do a reminder of what similar shapes are. So we've got two rectangles up here and these are similar. Now hopefully you remember similar shapes are shapes where one is an enlargement of the other. So in other words, corresponding lengths corresponding lengths have been enlarged by the same amount or the same scale factor we might, we might call it. So for instance, if we take the corresponding lengths here, what do we have to multiply the 2 by to get 6? Or we'll multiply it by 3. So in other words, that length has been enlarged by 3 from the original shape. So let's just double check that that works for this one as well, or these corresponding lengths. So 1 multiplied by 3 gives us 3, absolutely. So the corresponding lengths have been enlarged by the same scale factor. And we could have found the scale factor by either doing 6 over 2, so the ratio of those corresponding lengths, or the ratio of those corresponding lengths. So both of those equal 3. So in other words, the lengths from this rectangle to that rectangle have all been enlarged by 3 or multiplied by 3. Now moving on to area. So we've got some squares here. So a 1 by 1 square has an area of 1, 1 multiplied by 1. And the area of the square, 3 by 3, 3 times 9, gives us 9. So the ratio of the areas is 9 over 1. Now you could possibly have a question saying if we've got the area of this smaller square and this square is a similar shape, squares are all, are all similar to each other, how could we then find the area of the bigger shape? So let's assume we don't have that. Or you could start off with your area of 1 for the smaller square and multiply by the scale factor. Now that's a linear scale factor. So that's going from one length to one length. So 3 over the 1. Now if we look at that, that would actually give us 3. But to get the area, to get the area, we have to square the linear square factor, or sorry, the linear scale factor. So 1 multiplied by 3 squared, that's 9. 1 squared, 1. 1 multiplied by 9 over 1, that's 9. Right, on to volume. Here we've got cubes, we've got uh, dimensions 1 by 1 by 1, and 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. So volume 1 by 1 by 1, that's 1. And 2 by 2 by 2, that is 8. So a ratio of our volumes 8 over 1. Now, a bit like the area one, say we were given the volume of this cube and we wanted to work out the volume of this. So let's assume we don't know it's 8. Well, our linear scale factor, so that length has been enlarged twice. So our scale factor, linear scale factor, is 2 over 1. And if we wanted to find the volume of the bigger cube, using the smaller cube and the linear scale factor. That's the volume of our smaller cube. If we just multiplied it by the linear scale factor, that would give us 2. But because of volume, what we do, three dimensions volume, we cube it. So 2 cubed, 8, 1 cubed, 1. So 1 multiplied by 8 over 1 gives us 8. So whenever you've got a volume, you find out the linear scale factor, and then you cube it. Now, I'll show you a different example, hopefully, to make that, make that a bit clearer. So for instance, we've got a tin here, and these tins are similar. So they're, they're one's an enlargement over the other, or their lengths are in proportion. And we've got the height of the smaller tin is 20, and the height of the bigger tin is 30. And we're asked to find the volume of that tin. 
So the way we do it, we've got our linear scale factor. So the 30 of the 20, corresponding lengths. These are the heights, remember, corresponding lengths. So 30 over 20. Let's simplify that, divide both by 10, and we get 3 over 2. So we've got our linear scale factor. Now if we're looking for the volume of our bigger tin here, we start off with the volume of the smaller tin, so 400, and then we multiply by the linear scale factor. And because we're looking for a volume that's in three dimensions, we cube the linear scale factor. So we get 400 multiplied by 3 cubed is 27. 2 cubed, that is 8. And then it's just a matter of doing the arithmetic now. So 400 divided by 8, that gives us 50. And 50 multiplied by 27, that is, what's that, 1, 1,350. And our units, it's a volume, so it's cubic centimeters. So remember, if you're looking for a volume with similar shapes, you're going to find the linear scale factor and going to cube it. Now, if we were looking for an area, we'd find the linear scale factor and we'd square it. An area, two dimensions if we square it. So always find the linear scale factor first. Goodbye.